In today's video, we're going to be spending some time with one of the hottest little guns in the concealed carry world, the SIG 365. It's a 9mm, it's a handful, and I'm excited. Thanks for joining us on Shoot of the Series. My name is Ed Thorell and I'm here to welcome you back to another beautiful day here at the Mystery Range. And today we got something really special. We were able to lay hands on one of the new uh, SIG 365s. And before we start talking about it, it's worth saying that if you haven't done it already, hit the like, the share, and the subscribe button so you won't miss any episode of your favorite YouTube video, Shoot of the Series. Anyway, we wanna spend a little bit of time talking about the, the SIG 365, which we happen to have right here in front of me. The SIG is arguably one of the hottest little pistols in the concealed carry world. And it's, it's important to understand that SIG has really gone completely out of the box with this, as well as with its larger cousin, the 320. And the reason I say that is what makes this gun or this gun different from everything else is the fire control system. And when you go out to purchase it, it's actually the fire control system, which includes the trigger group and the action, all the moving parts, which actually comes with the serial number. So you're gonna register the fire control group, and then you're going to be able to have several different choices of what type of 365 um, grip and frame unit, as well as the slide that goes with it. So it's all about thinking modular. SIG has done something very, very different by thinking modular, meaning the fire control group stays the same, but you can put this into different types of bodies of 365 and literally change it up and mix it up any way you want. So there's a lot that you can do with this. And the same can be said about, you know, the SIG 320, the full size service duty pistol. Now, this is a nine millimeter. It's a striker fired and it's small. This is a small gun. And just as for reference, we also want to um, compare this to an earlier review that we did with the, uh, the Glock 43. These are almost exactly the same size. We are both looking here at a pair of subcompacts, meaning they're small. These are meant to be put away and concealed and never be seen. So I just wanted to do that to give you a size comparison so that you'd know what we were talking about for scale. Now, like I said, this is a striker fired. It, it also comes with a mount with rails on either side if you want to uh, put a flashlight or a laser or some type of other aiming device. And on this side, you'll notice you have the, um, the takedown as, as well as the slide release. You also have, you know, SIG has its uh, magazine release in a conventional place and the grip comes with a really nice texture. Now you can get this with two different types of magazine. The first one being a flush fit, which would be for deep cover. Something that is the smallest possible package or you can also get it with one that comes with an extension that has what we call a magazine toe. And this extra little bit is going to give you um, extra capacity, but it's also going to allow you a really good purchase with your hand. Here, let me demonstrate this by flipping this around so you can see how it, it literally fills up your hand. From the other side, you can see how much that just literally fills up my hand. And there is really no good reason for giving up the support of your pinky finger. That represents about 30% of your hand strength. And you're going to have much better recoil management 
um, by having as much surface area of your hand absorbing the recoil over less. So for me, having the magazine um, extension or the toe is, is a must have because it is a very small gun. Now it comes with some great features. It's got, you know, the, the grooves or serrations, both front and back for, for racking the slide. I prefer just to use these in the back. I've never been real comfortable by getting my hand that close to the muzzle. Um, it's a great little pistol and I've been wanting to shoot this for a long time. And when we come back, we'll be doing just that. And once again, we want to thank our friends over at 951 Tactical for providing us with such a cool little in the side the waistband holster for us to do that little demonstration. And I wanted to show you just, you know, how small of a footprint this thing actually has while you're wearing it. It's got a good solid clip to hold onto your belt. It's not going to pull out when you draw, but you can see that this has very little print to it. And um, if you're looking for something for deep cover, this would be a great opportunity. All right, let's get to the fun part. Mm. Freedom's got a nice ring to it and a little bit of recoil too. That was seriously fun. Um, I really like shooting this. Uh, one of the things that I, I'm really impressed by is the, uh, the type of traction I gain with, with having this type of surface, which is a little bit on the gritty side but it holds in the hand really nice. It's very intuitive. It, it literally just melts into my hand. And one of the things that everybody loves about SIGs is the ergonomics, and this one does not disappoint. Um, I would be absolutely thrilled to have this as a carry gun, and I'm really surprised that for something that's such a small package, how easily it handles, how quick and how smooth it shoots, and how the... Uh, the recoil just doesn't seem to make much difference to me. Anyway, we really enjoyed shooting this gun and uh, we'll probably end up shooting it some more before the day is out. But we want to thank everybody for tuning in. We appreciate all the people that watch and subscribe who've helped give us uh, our channel traction. And on behalf of Shoot of the Series, y'all take care. <laughs>